did you just say? You want to learn about Rachel Carson? She's not even that important. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I think you need a daily dose of Professor Peanut Buttercup's Legacy Channel. She talks all about Rachel Carson tonight. And it comes on at 8. It's 7.59. Sure, I mean, I'm bored anyway. I, Madame Peanut Buttercup, will now tell you about Rachel Carson. Rachel Carson was born in a time where all scientists were white, rich, and were men. So it was imperative that she was able to further evolve this. A society that would so-called collapse if a woman dared to step foot in the scientific industry, or anything other than housekeeping for that matter. Into this, a society that works together, not dependent on race or gender or wealth or anything like that. Now, I can't give her all the credit, but she was definitely a scientist that paved a path for the generations to come. Now to Carson's main accomplishment. She worked her whole life as an advocate for a change in pesticides that harm the earth. Yo, Professor, I have a question. What was so bad about those 1940s pesticides anyway? Excuse me, this is not live television. Sit your bottom down. Come on, sit down. I do not answer questions. How am I even talking to you? You're in a TV. If you must know, farmers use poison that looked like this to kill off all bugs from their crops. From looking at this, you can tell all the good it did was to hurt the environment. The most sickening thing is that poisons like these were named after their color. So this one actually was Paris green. There were also some other things like London purple and other colors like that. Anyway, remember this? Well, Rachel Carson was able to turn this into this. Because of her letters, her protests, and her becoming a biologist, this is the world we live in now. Organic farming, no pesticides, save the bees kind of stuff. Didn't she write a book too? Yeah, she actually did. She wrote a book called Silent Spring, and I'm sure you've probably heard of it before. Actually, one of her famous quotes goes like this. In nature, nothing exists alone. We in this generation must come to terms with nature, and I think we're challenged as mankind has never been challenged before to prove our maturity and our mastery, not of nature, but of ourselves. Hey, that was actually kind of inspirational. I can feel her legacy now. Thanks, Professor. Anytime.